Are you Denise? And she said, yes. And she found herself telling the women that it was going to be okay and showing them the container that this was going to be shipped in. And at least five times a week, she walked women through this process as they asked, is it okay to ship it all the way to Colorado? And she micromanaged it for them, showing them the packaging and the dry ice and how everything was going to come together, the containers, because for these women, this was so precious. It was irretrievable hope being sent out. And Denise found when she was alone doing the very last packaging of these shipments, she would look at it as she was folding it closed and say out loud, something good will come of this. She said it every time. It became part of her ritual for years. For years, offering reassurance and care. And this mantra, something good will come of this. And she said that many people actually came back to share pictures, to show pictures of babies who had been born, or to tell her that pregnancy had not actually worked out for them, but they had decided to adopt. And here, see this son, this daughter, who have become such an amazing part of our lives. So Denise, she saw barrenness, and she saw hope fulfilled and transformed. New life, and in her work she made the space, she offered the prayer, she gave the reassurance that enabled that hope. What about us? It's Advent, and in our Advent scriptures, hope is going around. John the Baptist is preaching hope. Zechariah and Elizabeth, on sort of the other end of the life cycle, are finding hope. Even Mary is not going to be divorced or shunned after all. Zechariah even sings a song, a canticle, at the end of our scripture today, talking about how change is come and people will find their way back to God and new lives. For you see, hope begets hope. Hope is catching or maybe propagating. Zechariah's hope for all creation comes out in his song. The change his child will bring. Yes, his name is John. Yes, really. And John will come to help people find hope in their barren places, being, bringing repentance even out in the seemingly barren desert. Hope begets hope. Hope returns hope. Hope builds hope. 